Ahoy everyone, and, yeah, ahoy everyone and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian tonight along with... PSM First Matrix here at your service. And welcome to an extra episode of Dredge. Because, well, Kia really wants to see how <laughs> how quickly things can go down into a dark, watery hell. Oh, 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 hold on, hold on. You wounded it. You was the one suggesting it first here. True, but you accept it. 
<laughs> I just made the contract. You signed it. And hello there in chat, Glacier Boy and Noon. Hope you're doing well tonight. Yeah, welcome, Glacier Boy and Noon. And yeah, last hey, time. It. Yeah, last time we uh, went to the Gale Cliffs and uh, we resolved a brotherly dispute and got the hell out of there. We also ran into a damned hermit crab that was using an sh old shipwreck for a ball. <laughs> Not its shell, but it was using two halves of it as freaking boxing gloves. And yeah, now uh, we've upgraded more, our boat. More like shoulder pads. Uh, oh yeah, I think we named it Harold. Oh, I named it Harold for some reason. Yeah. Uh, we've upgraded our boat to the tier 2, so we can take a bit more on board and we can take a bit more damage. And our next object, our, yeah, the next area to go to is uh, let me check the map and just is the stellar basin so that is where we'll be heading and hopefully we'll survive the trip back as well okay it's a bit into the day already but i think we can still safely make it uh, let me double check hopefully. yeah hopefully we don't run into you know what the other thing we ran into last time, I, I'm just gonna call it Burst. <laughs> okay, uh, which one? The, the giant eel or the crab? The giant eel. The, the crab we are calling Harold. The eel okay. or whatever it is, that one I think is we can call Burst. Okay, Oop, bump. Okay, nothing. Nothing to inspect here. That sounded like dolphins. I hope it's dolphins. But, oh no, what if there are a parade of dolphins? Okay. That is where we're headed. That is the resort island. So, there should be more people there as well. I can actually see the resort already in the distance. Okay. And something over there. What is that? It is something being in the water. Let's see. What are these? These are at an abyssal depth. So, yeah. So, this, this rack is high up in the waters. Nothing jumping out at us, so that's good. And there's another message for us to pick up. Ooh. Uh, we are this close to palm trees? Really? Yep. Okay. Now, what have we here, other than a half sunken, sunken boat? And something making noise. No generator Research sputters outpost. and takes over. The laboratory is in ruins, with equipment and research papers strewn about the place. Where do you want to look? Let's start with oh. the cupboards, and we find ourselves a research part. Let's grab that. Um, what the heck happened to the boat? Yeah, it's stranded. Uh, equipment on the table. There are some strange-looking prototype parts on the table, but you can't see any use for them right now. On the other side of the table, you find a hastily scrawled note. It reads, not safe. Expect retaliation imminently. Evacuating to fort. Okay, so someone was here. And let's check the floor. Look around the floor. There are cracks in the base of the structure that grow to large gashes as you follow them along uh, to the walls. Something extremely large and powerful created these holes. Slowly reach your arm into one. Bad idea. And we find another research part. Okay. You pluck an item Good from idea. the couch in the, in the floor. And that's about all we can see here. Yeah. If what we did to four... Oh, am I talking about a ruin port or... Is there a military base located around here? 
Uh, if there is a military base, I don't know. And there is something over there, though. Do we risk going out whilst the night is approaching? I don't know. I don't even know if this is, is a safe place, even. Well, let's dock and rest then. And, and the coral is glowing. Time. Let's have a peek around. There's the lighthouse. Oh, no. And the, the coral lights up. Yeah, hello. Okay. There's actually something in the water right over here. Might as well take a peek at that. Oh, it's just jewelry. Okay, may as well snag one thing. Kill? And this will come to you as a surprise possibly, but there's a lot of things in the water. Yeah. Oh, the jellyfish is getting close, so let's finish off this night then. But at least we know where the item that we are looking for is. It's right in the middle of this pit. I have not heard that damn bird in decades. <laughs> and that, that usually to be almost in every damn jungle episode of, the, of cartoons. Yep, there's another message. Hmm? Yeah, another message over here in the bottles. Or in the waters. There we go. 7th of March. 1927. Okay. This definitely looks like a fort. And it has... A researcher. Ah. Oh, um, hello. I wasn't expecting visitors. Who are you? I'm a fisherman. Ah, yes, I thought you had to look. But a fisherman all the way out here? Strange. Well, it is a pleasure to meet you all the same. I have not seen another soul in months. In fact, I could do with your help, if you have the time. Uh, what do you need help with? I need help collecting samples to study. It was originally posted at the research outpost on the interior of the basin, but it was attacked. <sighs> A large creature emerged from the depths and destroyed the outpost. Now it rests in the center of the basin. I fled here and have been making do as, I, as best I can, but I have to leave most of my equipment behind, so now my research has come to a halt. Take a look at the list of specimens I need. Please drop them off here. You might need to experiment with different fishing strategies to collect all of them. And let's see, she wants a glowing octopus, an aurora jellyfish, and a firefly squid. Okay. We know nothing about how to catch those at the moment. What? I, don't know. I think I've heard of firefly squids. Okay. Uh, I think they're very tiny. Tell me about yourself. Uh, okay, I don't think there's much to say. I studied biological sciences at Iron Haven College. It was a struggle. There were no other female students in the department that year, or the year before, or the year before that. It's hard not to feel like an outsider in an environment like that, you know? You probably don't. When I graduated, I managed to land a job at the Northern Biological Research Society. And then, well, I was posted here, by myself. I thought I would relish the peace and quiet, but I miss having company. I've always had someone, or at least a pet. But here, it's just machines. Is there anything else? What sort of creature attacked you? Hmm. Well, I got the sense that it was attacking the research outpost itself, rather than me specifically. I suspect it was disturbed by some of my monitoring equipment. There were dozens of machines running there, all powered by a noisy generator. It was huge, larger than any other marine species I've studied. It attacked with tentacles, so I'd guess at some, uh, at some sort of octopus or squid, or an enemy. One of my research vessels was moored around the back of the station, so I managed to slip away in that while it was tearing apart the front. There was a lot of valuable data and equipment left there, but I'm not going back. I can't. I won't face it again. 
Okay, anything else? Have you noticed anything else unusual since you arrived? Now that you mention it, I have been so preoccupied with the attack and having to rebuild here, I'd almost forgotten. I found these letters from my sister. She'd sent them to me while I was studying, before... before she... The researcher is quiet for a moment and stares off to the side. Anyway, I kept finding them among my papers. I didn't remember packing them, but I must have. I started finding them more frequently. They turned up in my collection nets, in my sampling tubes. They, uh, they were letters I'd never seen before, but they were in her writing. They were in her name. We're saying things. Talking about things that happened after she died. I can't explain it. Is there anything else? Oh. She might be going a little bit loopy, or there is something else going on. Yeah, and there's plenty else going on already. Well, I may know what happened. No. The sister is not dead. Maybe. That may have been falsified. The sister might uh, have turned into a dead one. Okay, we're going to have to fish around these waters. What was with that music there for a moment? Let's see. These are Lucky, pretty shallow. Eh? I only want to feel like it's suddenly getting harder and harder to feel the relaxing part of the game. <laughs> yeah, especially the more horrific stuff we see. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I think we are at the point that we know that the peace and calm is a it's bloody a illusion. Yeah. Uh, what, yeah. What did you say? Yeah, a lie. Oh, that works too. Yep. Blood snapper. Let's... <laughs> Blood leaks endlessly from under its scales, pooling beneath it no matter where it is placed. Yep, totally not creepy. And then we have a very popular eating fish, often found hanging around rocky, co you know, rocky coastal waters and reefs. Okay, don't think I've ever tasted red snapper. And when, I'm not really interested in fish. Oh, <laughs> uh, how can we fit you on board? <laughs> it's, uh, we're keeping you at the very least. There. Okay. Yeah, if it's... There. Okay. Yeah, and... You maybe should return with the goods. Yeah, the researcher doesn't buy them, though. But there is someone who, who does buy them. Do we have any other books with us? Uh, let's see. Which one was that again? Engineer's Companion? Now, uh, large parts of this are irrelevant to the maintenance of boating equipment, but there are some small sections in waterproofing that hold useful advice. Okay, equipment types that use durability will lose it 10% slower. Okay, so crab pots and such. Alright. And yeah, guess who's over there? The merchant? Yep. What so. you buying? <laughs> Sliding into place. And hello again. Now, let's see. Hammerhead for 175. Okay, that's a good haul. Even though it takes up a lot of space. An awkward space at that. 28 for that. And 13 for the normal snappers. Okay, sell all of that. And yeah, let's see. There ain't from here that we can actually get as an upgrade? I don't really think so. There's the net that we could grab. Which could be good for some extra money as we go between places. Uh, okay, I thought something fell behind me. I heard a noise at the very least. Same. The game is starting to get to me, apparently. Uh, but yeah. Let's undock. And let's go look for those fish. Though I get the feeling, slash 
Hoff, remember that some of them are night fish. Oh. Barracuda. Okay. Big one. Ooh, this ferocious fish is capable. This ferocious fish is capable of great bursts of speed and hunts by biting its prey clean in half. Okay, nasty bastards. Okay, another one. And another one. And we have room for one more. That sounded like an engine or something. Oh yeah, we did see... But we also, it was a ghost ship or... Some other kind of sea mimic. Yeah. Um... Okay, let me buy one of these, and then we can just chuck it out here, right next to the place. And yeah, we'll have to go find a f some glowing squids. Hm. The yeah, those looks like squids. Okay, turn off the lights. There's definitely movement down in that thing. Okay. And we get the fuck back. back. There's something out there again. Um, let's have a look. Pursuits. Collect all samples. Met a researcher in Stellar Basin. Set up, a, in a, set up at the old fort. Need some help collecting samples of fish from the area. My kind of job. She was chased away from her research outpost by an aggressive creature. Presumably it's living in the depths of the basin. We should be careful around there. Okay. Glowing octopus, firefly squid, and aurora jellyfish. We have one of them at the moment. And let's check out these messages. Let's yeah. See. 14th of September, 1927. I have not written in a few days. I've been afflicted with some strange chill which conspires to fog my brain. I cannot seem to keep warm no matter what I do. The ink has run from some lines here and they are literally. While most of what they hauled up was junk, they eventually came up uh, with a large wooden casket. A hush came over the crew at such a tantalizing discovery. I remember the next moments with excruciating clarity. He pried it open easily. The buckling boards cracked and groaned with relief as they splintered apart. Crimson cloths spilled out onto the deck. The crashing waves rose to fill my ears. I hear them still. He stared down into the open casket and turned to me. In his eyes, I saw the void. The page has been torn off here. Yeah. 6th and 7th of March, 1927. We are engaged to be married. He sailed us out to the very center of Stellar Basin to see the lights. We talk for hours, something we have not done in such a long time, waiting and hoping. Some time past midnight, as we were growing delirious and hysterical from the lack of sleep, the aurora, the aurora shimmered into the skies above. When I turned to see his reaction, he was already down on one knee. And I cannot even remember what he said or what I said, but I know that I said yes. The ring is beautiful, with a span of jewels going right in the way around. I cannot take my eyes off it. Yes, I was not sure whether to write this under yesterday's date or today's, given that it occurred at the conjunction of days, but I feel that the news is significant enough to warrant spanning multiple entries. A ring, huh? I'm pretty sure we're looking for one. Yeah. Yeah, a ring, a necklace, and a watch. And if it is down in the water there. Well. There were two out there. Let's rest up. Leave a little bit early. Oh dear. Because we can still try and snag 
A few fish. What are these here? Oh, these must be the these must be the firefly squid. Yep. Okay, that's two done. Yep. Yep. The game got these unselected for a second. Oh, okay. bloody heck! All right then. We need one more, and that is a jellyfish. Something in the water there. Yeah, I, I do not trust water that you can't see the bottom of. Hello. Same. Lying just beneath the surface of the water is a floating chest held down by a chain that disappears into the deep. Hello. Okay, silver plate, big bag of doubloons. We're definitely taking this. We're going to need that for our next upgrade. And that. Uh, we'll take that as well. And let's see. Is there any way... Hmm. I don't think we can fit that as well. Okay. Let's leave that wait, last wait, one Wait, 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 wait. I think we can. No. Oh, maybe we can't. There was that noise uh, again, like an engine. Okay. There was a lot of gill cliffs that we didn't explore. Okay, maybe that was Ooh. something else's treasure that we stole. Um. Let's have a peek. Waves lap at a pile of flotsam collecting on the beach. Nestled in the center is a wooden chest. And, hello, large cup of paper. Okay, we can't fit that, but we can grab these. That looks important. We're coming back for that. Uh, actually, I should do a turn around and go sell off the excess fish before they go stale. Good idea. I guess the thing that I do can be a lost guy, but that's not a Lovecraftian. There's something in the crab pot as well. Okay. Fish market. Uh, just sell off one of these. And we can put the rest of this into storage. There we go. Much more space. Okay. Yeah, you should probably head over and transport some of the squeedies. Yeah. Crown of thorns. With many heavily spined arms, this starfish is extremely hardy. It's a destructive pest and not worth selling. We may as well get it in our encyclopedia. Okay, just scrape the nose along there for a second. Mm. Yeah, only eight bucks for such a massive thing. Get rid... I <laughs> and I accidentally got rid of the other ones that we need as well. Uh. Okay, that leaves us more time to go explore, at least. And I see something this way. Also, what are these? Okay, more snappers. Yeah, I, I do not... Ooh. Hello. These are lit up. Oh, that's why. Okay, uh, um, I guess that's a stone crab. I will just call it as well, otherwise I will, I will, the debate is you call it stone crab or something else. Does that mean that the other places with those are also alive? Hmm. Maybe? Some snappers. Uh, Is there to be a dolphin? Oh, hello there. Is 
is a skinny brown dog leaping around in the shallows. Occasionally it lunges at the water, snapping up some small uh, snapping at some small savory fish. Its technique is ineffective. Okay. You jump off the boat into thigh high water. The dog stops chasing fish and focuses on you. Uh let's slowly approach. Way toward the shore. As you get nearer, the dog backs a little way. It sits. Okay. Let's throw some fish towards it. You throw some scraps towards the dog. It lands in the sand. The dog eats them with a <laughs> along with a mouthful of sand. Okay. Call for it. You make soft, encouraging noises, and the dog cautiously approaches. It stops just out of your reach. Okay. And we slowly approach a bit closer. Oh, it seems startled and runs back to the shoreline. Nope. Hold out some fish in your hands. You hold out some fish scraps in the palm of your hand. The dog approaches slowly but soon begins licking them. Pat the dog. You reach out and gently pat the dog. Its eyes follow your hand and it seems to understand you're not a threat. Okay, a bit more pats. Seems to be enjoying it. Okay. You make your way back towards the boat. As you're wading out, you hear the sloshing of four legs cutting through the water. You stop and turn around. The dog is standing a few paces behind you. It tilts its head questioningly. And let's let it follow us. I, I didn't actually find this before. You continue. This time with the dog alongside. Its tail is wagging so hard it beats the water and through a froth behind it. When you get to the boat, you turn around and pull the dog on board. Okay. You lift the dog onto the deck. It walks around briefly before, uh, before curling into a ball and looking up at you. You may, uh, Maybe you could find this dog a more permanent home. Okay. Yeah, for the, its old home is a wreck. Yeah, I think this place might have been attacked by that beast as well. Uh, speaking of, where in the map are we actually now? Okay, bro. There's something aberrant here. Quickly. Okay, Barracuda. Not going to risk more. Okay. Uh, what are these? Oh, okay, we're definitely grabbing this. It's close enough. I don't think we'd be at much risk. There we go. Okay. Yeah, th these jellyfish, I know what they do. They're basically sea mines. But they have a quote-unquote fuse. So you can't rush past them. Okay. What? Let's have a bit of a look. A stray dog is curled up, asleep, opening an eye occasionally to watch you move around the boat. Okay, let's rest up. Day 29. We've all, we already been here almost for a month. Yeah. Um... Uh, Oh, I see. What are the moving? <laughs> yeah. That's a big. <laughs> okay, let's go drop off the dog. And then we can go look for uh, the fish that we need again. Though we do need to be at night to catch most of them. Maybe all of them, since I don't remember where you can catch the uh, jellyfish. Uh, let's see. This dog needs a home. Do you want it? A dog? Oh gosh, let me see. The dog bounces over to the researcher. She crouches down to pet the dog, grinning. The dog, yeah, the dog licks her chin in, uh, in response. I could definitely take this one off your hands. I'd love the company. Are you sure? Yes, you should take the dog. You could use the company. Maybe stop you from writing any letters if you were doing that in the first place. Yes, thank you. Oh, we're going to be such good friends. He can be my assistant. He's already got a bone. 
Suddenly the dog stands upright and begins to retch, its stomach heaving. A second later, it vomits a wet glob onto the floor. Something glistens through the mucus. Okay, maybe this wasn't such a good idea. No, and that's interesting. I suppose that yours? If you want it. Okay, could have been a lot worse than a ring. I can clean the rest up. Don't worry about it. I was half uh, expecting it to wretch up a Shogoth or something. A Sapphire Ring. I feel like that, 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 that some of the readings are going to be important. Yeah, we have many questions, Glacier Boy, and not a lot of answers. Also, apparently we have this Art of the Silver Tongue. I think the merchant gave that to us. Yeah. Hmm. <clears throat> Okay. Now we have a barracuda. We should pro we we probably actually yes. Let me not here. Research and let's see. We have four parts. Um. Let me save those up for a bit. Still, we could get this one, but we have no real need for mangrove or volcanic fishing at the moment. That is going to be the next area we're going to, though. But I think I do want to get this one, so we can get more money as we travel back and forth between areas. Yeah, but I would feel we're going to need the upgrades. Yeah, especially since the we're going to need 1500 for the last upgrade. Yeah. Okay. On dock. Also, I hope that damn cannon works. More upbeat music now. Still a bit sinister. Let's catch a few more fish since we're heading for Savage Barracuda. Um. It thrashes about ruinously, jaws snapping and tearing its own flesh apart, body sundered by ravenous hatred. Okay. Let's see, we can fit one more. There. I just had a insane idea. You know what? Using barracudas as arrows. <laughs> Okay, that would definitely be interesting. Very uh, UHF, I believe it was. The show that uh, Weirdo Yankovic did for a while. I did not notice. And it only lasted a short while. More barracudas. Anything useful in here? Uh, another one of those fuckers. And blue crap. Also known as swimmer crabs, these colorful crabs have two flattened legs that act as paddles, allowing them to swim very effectively. It's a big one as well. Okay. As for you, get the hell out. Okay. Hmm. Yes, yes. 171 for all of that. Making a good amount of money. Uh, let's see. Ah. Shipyards and the nets. We have the improved troll nets for 300 and the basic one. Oh, yeah, last for one day, last for two days. Okay, we, we will need to repair these though. Um, let's see. Coastal, coastal, and shallow. What we can do is, let's see, that's 50%. Okay, I know what to do. Uh, let's buy this one. Send it to storage. Oh dear. And storage. Uninstall these. Uh, actually, let's we leave this one in place. Or hmm. Remove this one for a bit. And we put the thrall net in place. Okay, and now it's dark. Ooh. Turn that off quick, because there's something, some things over there. And yeah, now we can 
put out the troll net. And that will catch fish as we go. Now, there is something there. And there is fish over here. <laughs> Luckily, we can get glimpses of them. Oh, good. Radiant squid. Nice, but not what we need or want. So, get on board, you. Oh, that's one fish caught in the net. There's something there. It's not the jellyfish. There's that wind. Where is that pointing to something? I think that might point to something, but I don't want to risk going out too far. Yeah, like if it was a sailboat, I guess it would mean a good wind to sail with, but we have no sails. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Uh, a beacon from the depths below. A glimpse of a new sky. Sell so that one. Keep that one. And actually, what is in our nets? Oh, a firefly squid. Okay. Sell you off as well. And keep the other one on dock. And there were glowing octopuses or octopi that way. Grab a quick swimmer crab. Oh, you remember its uh, actual name? Let's see, is that the squid? Well There's two things out there. Nothing towards the center, though, except for the big boy in the middle. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that, yeah, that's the squid. One of the squids. There. I quickly grab one. This time we're not going to sell the fucker. Don't call them that, please. Are you bloody new? Why? Yeah, they'll likely get exalted and start to haunt us. Okay. Let's double check. Yep. Okay. Sell the crab. Just the crab. Okay. And rest. Yeah, then we get to the scientist, give her those two, then we can keep an eye on the last one. Snag ourselves a quick little extra. There we go. You're not gonna use them as lanterns. Yeah, I don't think they give enough light for that. Uh, what are these? They look like stonefish or wreckfish. Not stonefish. Coral grouper. Okay. Flip them all upside down. Oh, right, I forgot about this. We have a spyglass to look around with as well. We can even use it to identify you know, fishing spots. So, yeah, we have a lot of Hadel level fishing and the Bissell. I don't know what Hadel means, and I'm not sure I want to know either. Never heard of Hadel. Let's see, we can fit a barracuda or some woods. Uh, grab one of these. Just too early there. And another sapphire ring. And I believe we need wood for one of our upgrades. Well, we need wood for a lot of upgrades. There. And let's get one more. Nope. Fake out. There. 
There is actually an achievement you can get if you fill out the, your inventory space completely. And yes, I got that. Okay. <laughs> I'd gotten that one before. Okay. Now, you. Yep, about their specimens. One squid. Or, no, one octopus and one squid. And we need a jellyfish still. A roller jellyfish. And I don't know where to specifically catch those. Or maybe they are caught by... Actually, jellyfish aren't really something that will bite into nets. So I'm guessing we'll need... We would have needed the net anyways to catch them. Possibly. Okay, grab a few more. Ooh, getting dark. Uh, we can make it up. Oh. And uh, yeah, when you take damage, it'll put a random point on you, and you can lose stuff overboard. I forgot that's yeah. how it did it. Oh, love of. And I, I, I was planning to compliment you for actually avoid crushing the brakes, for you usually have very bad luck with the vehicles. Yep. Okay. Then you went and uh, ruined it. Get out of here, you stupid thing. Okay. Let's sell off the other fish. We're 120 about. Okay. And let's get that repaired. Let's see, I'm going to have to start carrying more materials soon, aren't I? I've got enough to make repairs for now, at least. Yeah. Repairs are pricey, as you can see. 47. Okay. Um. Oh, dear. Storage. Put these away. And yeah, we'll have to look where these jellyfish are. Well, they are glowing, so you you should be able to expect to see them. We should be safe if we stay to the edge of the basin. Just not too close for obvious reasons. Yep. Ready uh, here. Squids. Yeah, I think we have to throw to get a jellyfish. What have we here? Oh, here's the stone. Let's see. Not respond. Okay. And this place is blocked off. Yeah. Each, uh, each area has one spot where you can dredge up ref refined, iron, uh, refined metal. And that over there is the one spot for that here. Of course. Let's see. Ooh, we have something here. Is that debris? That looks like debris. I'll take that. Almost missed there. The character is staying reasonably calm. Why am I thinking of SF Debris? And I don't know who even who SF Debris is. Oh, oh, hello. Uh, stone trembles before you. Unknown symbols glow from within. A sudden chill rushes through the marrow in your of your bones, surging up your arm, your neck. A deep vision enters your mind. There's something next to us. The green glimmer of an aurora blooms in the night sky above the resort. A distant boom shakes the thatched roofs and rouses dreamers from their sleep. The waters withdraw, exposing the coral to the warm air. Confused creatures chitter and seek out their hiding places. Their hiding, their hiding places. 
Moments later, the waters return, crashing, seething, sweeping souls out to sea. So that's what these activate at certain times. Okay. Well, now we know that, and now we can look up the others. Yeah. Something in the net. Another squid. To help if we had a hint as to where we could find this jellyfish. Maybe you can ask the scientist. Or is there some notes about it in the research lab? Maybe. Was I the only... Yeah, there it was again. The ice flashing silver. I think that might be a warning sign that the panic is going too high. Let's rest. Like, I don't know what happens if panic goes too high or if it can get too high. Maybe you, you lose control easier or something? Maybe. Uh, let's see. Another fish. It's a snapper this time. We have a snapper. More coral fish. More wood. Hmm. Actually, jellyfish typically live deeper. So I think we're going to have to throw out here. Do a few loops to see if we catch anything. Yep. Just a snapper. Let's see. The depth that we are at plays a part in what we can catch, I think. So let's just do a few loops around this place, see what we catch. Hopefully. Okay. Yeah, hopefully I really hope. Oh, sorry, go on. Uh, I, I don't think this fort will a see actual combat or anything. Yeah, they, it'd be way too old and it looks rusty as well. Yeah, still, w one can hope that those still work. Yeah, any defense is better than none at all. Hmm. Yeah, the, the deep... Varies quite a bit here. Oh there's, oh, there's only few fish here left. Let's see. Can she give us a hint about it? Yeah, that or you may have to look at the hint at the research lab. Let's see. Take a yeah. Um, experiment with different fishing strategies. Oh, oh, right. It, it says it right there. It is coastal and it's a, we catch it by thralling. Okay. So I had half of that right. I was just not pay paying too much attention. Uh, coastal, coastal. The octopus and these is in shallows. The squids are in coastal reef. So if we stroll around the areas where the we got the squids, we should be able to catch those as well. For now, more for the storage. And these are still fresh. Cabin. The coral grouper for 40 bucks each. Okay. At least 40 bucks. Okay. Uh, research. I have enough parts, but I'm going to save them up still. So let's undock. And yeah, I think we have to go do some night thralling. If I'm even speaking it out correctly. I will not let... Another one of these. Is this one going to pop up as well? Stone. Okay, so it, there's two over here. Okay. Hmm. I don't think I've... We didn't see one, I think, in the Gale Cliffs. I think you have. Hmm. I'll have to... We'll have to check back 
in the other areas at night. I'm going to have to keep an eye out for the, on the net. Let's. The light will help fight off the, the panic. Let's see, it was around midnight that that one became active. Would the other one be the same? Maybe. What the heck? Oh, yes. Oh, Still not. It was just that. What was what, what, what place called again? Mm -hmm. The fort? Uh, no, no, this one. Started mm -hmm. pontoon. I think it's uh, a pontoon. Uh, a floating little dock like this, I'm guessing. Uh, let's see. Let's repair yeah. our stuff. We can afford that. Okay. Undock. Get the crab pot. Just throw it out here. And then... <laughs> you just have to stroll around here for a bit. Okay, the fog is coming down real hard now. Ah, there we go. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know what any of those things are, and I have no intention of finding out either. So, rest up. <laughs> are they still there? No, it looks like they vanish at about 5 a.m. Okay, you can still nab a fish here, hope for an aberrant for a bit of extra price. Eh, uh, just a normal... Okay. Uh, the aberrant one, uh, the radiant squid, looks like something you could use uh, as a light source. Probably, yeah. <clears throat> okay. Let's just hand her the fish. And, yeah, see what comes next. What is... There's something high up over there. And there's that wind again. Let, let's follow it for the moment. Why not give her the thing first? Before it, it rots? Uh, it, shouldn't, it shouldn't be that short-lived. No more winds. No more wind. I get the feeling that's going to lead us to something. If we manage to follow it long enough. Hmm. Okay. Here's your last fish. And, uh, pull it from the net. Uh, let's see. Illuminating the netherworld with a dull glow. With few predators, the species is rapidly is spreading rapidly. There we go. Thank you. Looks uh, like you've caught all of the surface specimens I need. But, ah uh, yes. I also need some from deeper down. That's going to be a problem. Uh, yeah, we don't have any equipment to catch that anything down. I developed a device to retrieve samples from the abyssal zone. This was over in the other research posts, uh, before the attack. I have an idea of how to keep the creature at bay long enough to collect these samples. But while I work on that, I need you to, tr to retrieve some prototype parts. Carefully, I suggest you go during the day. I wouldn't want to be out on the reef at night. Well, we've been to have that plenty now already. <laughs> uh, yeah, I feel like you skipped a very important part. That I think the problem is... It's the damn thing. 
Yeah. And I'm guessing it is. I I have not gone near the middle of there any time, especially not during the night. So I don't know if it will actually attack you. I presume it very much will. And I presume I also just do not want to <laughs> find that out, no matter what. Uh, it's waving at you. I'm going to have to investigate that wreck as well. It's really high up in the water. Okay, laboratory. The tower is in ruins. Uh, we found it on the table. After some searching, you find the prototype parts that the researcher uh, needs to assemble the sampling device. A jumble of wires and winches. Very much prototype. Okay. With that, we can head out. Okay. We might as well swap back to this. Just hasten our go a bit. Careful not to blow out the engines. Yeah, I, I do not feel I do not feel safe at all when there is just nothing in sight. Not up nor down nor to the sides. Uh, you're not alone. Here's your thing. You have those prototype parts you asked for. Excellent. Let me assemble the device for you. It should allow you to catch specimens from a much greater depth. It's a little slow, but uh, you may be able to make some improvements. So, the sampling device. Uh, plus 11 fishing speed only, but it's the only abyssal thing we have at the moment. A custom design from the researcher. It's ineffective, uh, inefficient, uh, but it should allow me to harvest some samples from the depths. Let's pick that up. And... Yeah, let's just put that in storage at the moment. Now, I've developed a repulsion machine that produces a bright light and emits a high-pitched noise. It should deter the creature from attacking, or enrage it, but I'm not sure. Hmm. Thanks for being so certain with that. Connect it to the research outpost generator. You'll have to return and re-engage it every few hours, but other than that, it's completely automated. Let's see. Complicated looking piece of equipment with lights and a loudspeaker. You're not quite sure which way it should be facing. It needs to be attached to a generator. Okay. Great. Now take a look at the list of specimens. Remember, you want to install and activate the device before attempting to collect these. You might also need to improve the equipment I gave you to catch some of these. Because, yeah, we have an anglerfish that we want, a giant amph amphipod. Which is a Hadal species, a loose jaw, and the snailfish, also a Hadal. Okay. We don't have any of them, of course, at the moment. And yeah, this is why I saved some of these, because we can research this now. Or at least we should be able to. Hmm. Let me uninstall I... this one. Install this one. Okay, now Ooh, it's too dear. late to head out, so let's rest up. That little glowing point works really well as a secondary lighthouse here. It might m meant to be that, actually. Okay. You don't want ships to crash into the damn fort, do you? True. There goes the jellyfish. Let's see, how are the fishing nets? Fresh, fresh. Okay, it looks like as long as they stay in the net, they will remain fresh. But I'm guessing the moment that the net breaks, they'll all swim out and get an escape. Okay, big boy. Let's see how you like some dubstep. <laughs> what? There we go. Okay, generator. The researcher's repulsion machine should be connected to the outpost generator here. And there we go. 
A small object rolls out from under the generator, covered in dried salt. Research parts, and that's activated again. The repulsion machine hums and roars to life. A few seconds later, a bright light shoots from the top, and the alarm begins blaring. The researcher said this should keep the creature at bay, for a time at least. Yeah, so let's make do with what time we have. And, as you can see, no more waving tentacles. There is something else down there. Can we catch you? No, you're, it's a halo spot. I recognize that fish. Okay, angler. One, two, three, four. There we go. Dangling a bright lure in front of its open mouth, this deep sea predator preys on the curious. Okay, we don't need any more. And we're right. going to have to go out to grab some others. Actually, Does that mean... Oh, sorry, go on. Yeah, so Hadel one. Hadel, Hadel. Shallow. Uh, you go, Han. Oh, yeah. Does that mean There's an anglerfish ate the cat? Uh, what cat? <laughs> Uh, they want to keep saying curiosity kill the cat. <laughs> Could be, yeah. Uh, let's see. That's anglerfish. There's another abyssal species. It should be around here. Snapper. There. Oh, but this one has the possibility of an aberration. Or bigger chance of one. Yep. Uh, Bursting uh, anglerfish. Uh, uh, okay, so that's what a xenomorph would look like if it was a fish. I was just saying, they almost really look aberration enough. What the heck would they do? And I... Oh, dear gods. The deep faces its own consequences of creation. In the darkness, brutality becomes the ultimate filter. Yeah, just... That. I just noticed they giggle when you turn them around. Yep. Uh, where was that one here? Oh, you are far out in the open. Snapper. done with that book. Maybe we should head and sell? Probably, yeah. I, that is not a fish that we need, I think. Uh, let's actually check. Uh, cabin, pursuits. Uh, ta -ta -ta. Anglerfish, stoplight, loose jaw, amphipod, and snailfish. Hmm. Uh, that's not the fish we need, then. Let's grab another of these. They're hopefully worth a bit. And we can't fit another one. I'm still not going near the that, even though it is active. Because it could run out any moment. Yeah. So better safe than sorry. Better safe than sunk. Better safe than eaten. And it's getting dark. Oh, we have something in the crab pot. Hopefully not another stupid starfish. Okay, two of you. Come aboard. Ooh. Okay, and yeah, my nose is... My nose is annoying as if I need to squeeze, uh, not squeeze, to sneeze, bleh. Yeah. I'll, I'll turn the fan that I have on the side here off for now. Because ah. it is getting pretty warm over here. Okay. Uh, 112 for this thing. We'll sell the bigger anglerfish. And these. 
Okay, that goes to storage. Okay. Close to a thousand. Uh, how are we with... Um, yeah, this is also the net for repairing. So it is pretty expensive to repair the net. Uh, let's see. What can we do with the upgrades? We got a, enough wood here. Plenty of wood. So there we go. More cargo space. And we need metal, wood, and cloth for these. Uh, we have no cloth or metal. Well, we have one metal here. And, and one piece of wood. There. Maybe two, but there. we only need one. Okay, and over here, we can put the other bit of wood in. Beyond that, we only have stuff to sell or spare equipment. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Hmm. Ah, now we can research it. Bottomless lines. Uh, 38 uh, fishing speed and abyssal and hadal depths. An improvement on the sampling device. This should be at least operate at a reasonable sp speed. So we research that. And then there's also this one with fathomless winds. Uh, abyssal, hadal, and oceanic. Additional power from a hydraulic attachment makes this deep sea harvester a formidable tool. Okay. Hmm. I'm not sure if to get this one or not. Because we have what we need with this one. But it is a very big fishing boost. And yeah, but it is also big. True, but if we fit this oh. one in the spots where we would have the the other wings, we could basically fish everything. Yeah, I just realized it actually it is actually smaller than the other one. So one, two. Three. It's probably going to be pricey. So, now that you magically have those, let's see. 750. Okay, yeah, that is real pricey for that. Wait, wait, look at the mocks you have already. Yeah, 580. We're not too far off. True. Hmm. Like, yes, it is pricey, but. You have been earning coin. Let's see. This net is also not as good as I thought because it only does coastal stuff. If we go out onto the ocean with it, we don't we won't be getting any oceanic fish with it. Um not going to sell yeah. it. No, it has been useful so far with getting extra fish. True. Uh let's see then. So, yeah, as I, we keep using it for now, since, yeah, we're gonna need every fish we can get. Yeah. Can we even get nets that catch other stuff? Okay, coastal and shallow. Coastal and mangrove, coastal and volcanic. Okay, and then there's this one, which is coastal and oceanic. But probably a lot more effective. Let's see. Lasts for three days, two days, two days. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, we'll have to catch a few more fish then. So, as the clock ticks over to six, let's go catch some fish. Oh, right. Coastal. I'm at. Um. We should prob yeah, we should probably sell the, the fish that we have in the net before that breaks and they get out. That might be enough. Our emphasis on mites. Let's see. Yeah, all of them still fresh. Okay. 168. And that actually gives us just about enough. Okay. 75 and 55. Uh, though that also got rid of the angler. Okay. Uh, what are we to do with you? Okay. Um, let's install that. We can fish up a new one easily enough. 
Remove you. Put you in place. And there we go. Okay, the machine has stopped. So let's sleep. Get early. And go. I'm gonna have to ask chat this. How many of you people in chat dare to fish after this game? Let's see. Art of the Silver Tongue, 10% increased sell price and 10% reduced buy prices. Could have used that like a minute ago. More of a guide on psychology than simple financial transactions. It delves into the fundamentals of the human psyche and outlines some truly inspired tactics for bargaining. And get the sense the author isn't giving away all their secrets, however. Smart. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, it, it's a joke that's often made, like uh, s selling a book of how I made a thousand dollars and the, the cost. Uh, uh, <clears throat> I don't know how I made a thousand dollars selling a book, and the price of the book is a thousand dollars. So if you buy it, you, they made a thousand dollars off of you. Oh, okay. for love of! Start this thing up again. Yeah, and we go fish quickly. See. One there. And this is the loose jaw, I think, over here. <clears throat> yeah, I think so. Yeah. Nope, a gold per eel. Were you oh, a yeah. part of what we want or not? They're called gold per eels. Hmm. Few humans have ever seen this eel. Its great gulping maw can open wider than the length of its body. That's big. Probably also yeah. pricey for it. And they are very hard. They're basically like deep sea demonic pelicans. Snailfish. Adapted to suit the high pressure environment of the deep, this fish begins to implode as it's dragged to the surface. There's a storm somewhere nearby. Let's see. That's the snailfish. Snailfish. No, no, that's, no, no, that's, that's not the, the other thing. Yeah, the only thing we need. Let's see. Better hurry. Yeah, time doesn't move unless we move. That sounds like a damn meme at this point. I'm blaming that certain game. And Let's you see. got it. Giant amphipods. After spending years scavenging fallen carcasses, uh, fallen carcasses on the ocean floor, this crustacean has grown extremely large. Yeah, and uh, does him? Do you remember when I struggled to describe those pikey thing from Indiana Jones? Yeah. This is the thing I was referring to. Okay, and uh, it might be repulsed, but it's still there very much. Oh. Oh. oh! Now, what was that last fish? I think you just got the last fish. Yeah, we, there were four. Was it the gulper eel that they wanted? No. Doesn't matter, we're getting out of this place. Okay, much deeper in the... much safer in the shallows. Oh! Yeah. You were you... saying? Must save in the shallows. Lightning strikes. Well, lightning struck out in the open. So far enough away from us still. Okay, here's your fucking fish. Okay, about the specimens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, oh. that's not the gulper. It wants a loose jaw. Or they want the loose jaw. There's that one. There's this one. There's this wiener dog looking thing. <laughs> Come on! Okay, loose jaw in the abyssal waters. Okay. We still have a bit of time. 
I can still hear the machine going, but we're not going back there. There they are. And... Saw something else pop up there for a second. Something else. Abyssal. At least there has ended the way for a moment. I gotta grab something, something more to there. drink. Go right back and. Uh. Oh, yeah, boy in Nuen. Make sure Helium doesn't die in the very short moment I'm away. No promises. That's the loose jaw. Okay. Okay, bunch of red things here. Or, or does, are those the loose jaws? They, okay, those are the loose jaws. Okay. Prize one, so let's get one more. Because we got a trophy one. There we go. And get back. Oh, wait, hold on a second. Okay, the net is still good. We should get that repaired soon, though. Okay. And I'm back. You, you called for your anyway. Welcome back. Uh, actually, you. before we do this, <laughs> Glacier Boy, yeah, I'm out on duty again, and you're relieved again. <laughs> Let's see. Loose Jaw. With red surge lights behind his eyes, this predator hunts with needle like teeth. Its stomach can expand to hold prey larger than itself. Okay, that, that explains all the red eyes underneath the water. <laughs> right, it's time to sink the ship. No, you don't. <laughs> okay. Here's your fish. <clears throat> okay, I have good news and bad news. Which one do you want to hear first? No, which which do you want to hear first, Rakir? Uh, let's start with the bad news. Okay. The bad news is that the samples you retrieved from the basin have dangerously high counts of cellular mutations. The good news is that I've honed in on what's causing the abnormalities in the ecosystem. This all points to one thing. The thing in the basin is harmful to life at a cellular level. It damages everything around it, whether passively or with intent. I need to write up a report on my findings. Sorry, our findings, immediately. Maybe now they'll take me seriously. Oh, how rude of me. You've done all of this for me and I've not uh, I've not got much to th say thank you with. Um, you should have this. Hmm? She opens a drawer and pulls out a book. Sheepishly, she hands it to you. Ah. This is something I wrote during my studies. I think it'll be useful to you. Thanks again for your help. I'd recommend that you avoid the area. It doesn't seem safe to be near the basin. And still we have no. to go back out on the waters. Really? It doesn't seem to be safe. Oh, I'm pretty sure some unicorns and rainbows over there. <laughs> okay, let's sleep to the next day. Day number 35. <laughs> okay, that's a palm tree over there, not something else. Okay. Uh, I'm everyone dark. read the chats. <laughs> <laughs> the nerd is crazy. Oh, Aurora. Uh, oh, Aurora Borealis? Uh, wait, no. Is it Aurora? Aurora Tropica? Whatever the, the Latin word for tropics would be. Good question. Uh, th that, those rocks have made me a few times mistaken for something else. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we'll take all of that. And then we go sell the fish. Oh. Just how much is the big one worth, even though it has gone a bit stale? Okay. That is a lot. 
302 even total. if it's fail. Yeah. Okay. Um. I, actually, let's take a look in the book. Okay, first up, let's repair everything. And let's have a look here. Yeah. Also, we should yeah, plan for the future. Let's read that. It's loose jaw. Snail face grouper. Hammerhead. Let's see, it's further back. Uh, decorator crab. Okay. Where is it in here? Ah, there it is, Gulliper Eel. 250 at a base price. Okay, yeah, we want more of these whenever we can find them. We'll probably only find one more. Uh, I also assume one well, of another yeah. fish that next to it I recognize. No? I think it's called tiger fish. Here, we want this. We want one of these because, yeah. Now that we now that we have access to them, the sales, the merchant will also sell them, and yeah, they're a lot cheaper to get than buying refined metal outright, even with the ten percent discount now. And let's see. what is that then, or what do you think that is then? That might be a tigerfish. Okay. Basically, don't get bitten by it. Yeah, for good reason. <laughs> now then. We have a ring to fish up. Oh, was it Tiger Gar? Hmm. I'm pretty sure it has Tiger in its name. Okay. Now. It's inactive. There. Out of loose debris. Yep. Use the explosives. And there we go. You really need to use explosives on that? I have better that than to ram it with the boats. But it's fun! <laughs> Not as fun as the repairs are. Okay, we've got metal for our next upgrades. And yeah, let's go turn on the repulsion device, get our ring, and yeah, let we'll pass the night here then and check if the rocks on the other side actually light up on that. Okay. I get the feeling this might not work during the night. So, triple reason not to get anywhere near this place once it's dark. Okay. There's our prize. Right in the damn middle. Jewel encrusted uh, band. A golden band, large enough to fit around a child's waist. All manner of gemstones are affixed to it, seemingly at random. Okay. Any fish. Actually, let's. Since time doesn't move. Uh, let's see. Hadel. Dolper eel. No, we haven't sold either of these, so we don't know how much they're worth. Well, okay. People e eat the iron on board. I seen a video about it. Yeah. And hard pass. Uh, Actually, apparently it's very popular in Japan. I don't want to risk that thing stopping in the middle of our fishing. I think they've been nicknamed sea pigs. Or something? Okay. Or is there something else that we call Sea Pig? Actually, it might be. Okay. 
Well, Thirty-two what they, for that. I forgot they said like they taste taste like lobster or like chicken or something. Now let's see. Uh, yeah, put that in storage. Luckily, the refined metals are only required for these, the hollow braids, I think. Yeah, the, the shiny ones, and the uh, yeah, at the other right. And yeah, not seeing them on any of these or these. So we only need two, five of those in total. Okay. Um, yeah, it's the shallows, so let's go take a look at that thing over there. Just be careful. Keep this thing on as long as we can without attracting attention of something. thing is going for quite a long time. Okay, it's not active. It is active. No, this is not active. But oh. we can solve that by just spinning to winning. <laughs> Probably could have timed this better by going from the, <clears throat> the research outpost. It is going for quite a long time. Okay. Let's fuck her back on. This is actually making me a little bit dizzy now. Oh, there's something on the other side. Okay. It's midnight, but it's not active. Activate later. Uh, try and talk to it. Yeah, it, it the other one oh. lit up. It's, it's not respond. Can you touch? Maybe it's something else it will respond to. Maybe there's a certain order. Hmm. That or maybe it respond to an item? I don't think so. Uh. Oh, okay. You can actually see it move its tentacles. I thought they just instantly vanished or uh, reappeared. Oh, it, it, it glowed up. It's glowing. 2 a.m. Okay. A sudden chill rushes through the marrow of your bones. A deep vision enters your mind. A spore floats in the water, adrift in the current. Fish feast on a crate in a frenzy above, devouring its kin. The spore lands in the thick silt of the sea floor. Its roots stretch deep into the seabed, growing, extending towards what lies beneath. Is that the origin of this thing? That is a giant seaweed? I don't think it's that. I'm more like a giant sea an enemy or whatever the correct word for that is the things that clownfish uh, live in and what was that sound I think it was the old friend there it sounded like a, a bit of a bubble burst or something hmm Either way, it's actually early enough that we don't really need to sleep for the light to come. Mm. With the way our panic is going. Oh, Let's catch a few minutes of rest. There we go. Done wonders for our panic. Because we are not at the disco, so there's no need to panic at the disco. 
What the heck are you on about? That's a band, Panic at the Disco. <laughs> uh, really? Yep. Okay. Let's grab some of this. And. Alright, seems like uh, noon has written something. <laughs> Bad him, Tish, he got the joke. Oh. Okay. Grab one more. You say grab or crab? Grab. Okay. Now there's Greater Marrow. Let's see. There is a little side island here. There's actually a few islands in the middle here that we haven't visited. Uh, but I think we have enough of this place for the moment. I've had enough. So full speed oh, the fuck dear. away from here. Oh, dear. Yeah, uh, the, the, we say what you will be fish that, but it has helped us get uh well the extra money we needed to buy the other thing earlier. Yeah. So it's not bad. Mm, might as well dredge up some valuables. As long as it doesn't take too long. Okay. okay. What was that noise? It sounded like something hitting stone. Okay, that's a good amount of fish in the net now. Yeah, and um, what the heck is that moon written now? I can't read it. Uh, but but it's better if you do get the joke. Uh. Okay, let's hand this stupid thing in. Uh, I've looked it up. The, the workshop can be accessed with a DLC called, well, the Blackstone Key. But I wouldn't really say it's worth it from what I see, but you, you can also get two items from that. One is a one-space engine that gives seven extra knots which well if you have a single spot left it's nice to have a little bit more speed and the other one is a thing that increases the chance of getting aberrations whilst you're fishing which could be profitable but i'm not really sure if i'd want to spend five uh, not five dollars five euros on that so for now back to the mansion you walk in and place the jewel encrusted ring on a table by the collector his eyes widen we're certainly making excellent progress now. And uh, I know what you're thinking. An item like this would fetch a fortune at any auction. But for us, its value transcends material wealth. Regardless, you are due a reward. He opens the Crimson Book, its spine crackling, au uh, cracking audibly. Selecting a page carefully, he begins to read aloud. The words sound muffled, as though he's speaking through a thick haze. Banish. Fire of a blazing light that dispels and protects. You hear a growling crack in your ears. Suddenly your vision flares and both of your ears pop. He closes the book. We must keep searching. I've been thinking more on where we might find another. I can imagine all manner of detritus swallowed by the silty muck of the twist of Twisted Strand's channels. It's worth investigating. I'll mark a location on your map where you can begin your search. Anything else? Uh, what will you do once you have all the relics? He ponders for a moment. Hmm. It's surprising, isn't it? The attachments we hold towards simple objects. But they are anything but simple. Seemingly mute articles can speak in different ways. If I showed you a childhood toy, you would be awash with forgotten memories. They hold the power to recall what was once lost. Anything else? What do you know of the old mayor of Little Marrow? That stuttering old fool? Yes, I knew him. He'd join us on the water sometimes, but it was more a hindrance than help. He never seemed entirely with it. I can't imagine he has fared too well since I last saw him. Okay. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Let's take a look at that one. 
Uh, yeah, we need to get an explanation for banish. Uh, yeah. The banishing words will provide you a temporary protection from most things. If spoken swiftly enough, they can be used defensively. Choose your moment carefully. The more they are spoken, the more they are understood. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what that means, and I haven't actually gotten to test out that power, nor do I actually want to test it out. And yeah, that, that last little line here, uh, he'll just complain at us because he's not interested in other things. Yeah, I, I feel like it's one of those we use if need to be. Yeah. So for now... And I think it, he very much us. hinted at that, that, that just because you have it doesn't mean you need to be reckless. Yeah. Or if I they don't I start know... to... Un oh, sorry, go on. Now, I don't know if there is actually that might happen if you use the powers too much. So, the lighthouse keeper approaches you on the dock wearing a questioning expression. <gasps> you must have been around most of the islands by now. Have you found whatever it is you're looking for? I'm not sure. Your face softens. Remember that you are in control. If you are having doubts, it's foolish to pers blindly persevere. You can always look for alternative paths. She turns from you, shaking her head and muttering. She heads back towards the lighthouse. Okay. For now, it's been a bit since we've been here. So, sell all our fish for 94. Okay. And... Yeah, I'll, I'll actually have to call a quick BRB. <laughs> so, uh, I'll stop the timer, and I'll see you all in a minute or two, or three. <laughs> all right. It should start with the...
Okay, uh, I hope the music wasn't too loud or anything. Uh, uh, that's actually the BRB wasn't. music from uh, Prince of Persia. I, prob I should put in the ones we want to use in general more. Uh, okay. Uh, it's a uh, <laughs> oh, glacier boy. Look here, take the wheel, time to leave docks. Wait, I missed that. <laughs> I okay. missed that. Um, I didn't go to the, my bed uh, to lay down a little bit. I just came back here and laid in my chair instead. Okay. And I, I didn't actually know that the lighthouse keeper would have new dialogue now. I've been finding relics for the collector. Relics? Collector? I'm not sure what you're hoping to achieve with this character. Do we even know? Have you stopped to consider it? What do you know about the old mayor of Little Marrow? <gasps> That's... he's... I try not to think about him. It's a painful memory for us all. Some nights I still think I can hear the hum of his engine sailing past the bay. But I know he's gone, and I don't want to talk about it anymore. Um, of his inch. It's. Wait. You know he has a ghost ship. Could that be his ship? I was wondering that. No, and we did not dead uh, approach for a case of it that, if that was a lure or something. Yeah. Uh, let's see. We have one part. Hmm. You can't research this without researching these. And I don't think we'll have much need for going down these two tree uh, tech trees. Let's see. I don't think there's anything we can add in here. Actually, we can put in some metal. And this needs two metal. The other one needs metal. And we just need two cloths. And one wood to get these done, and then we need a bunch more for tier three. Okay. Uh, here. For now, we rest. I, I almost forgot to start the timer again, so we got a little bit more. And right. we undock. Well, it's always ten minutes uh, extra time, ain't it? Uh, let's see. Now that we know that those black stones activate on different times, we can hang around and look for a stone. There. Room for one more, I think. And there. No, there was one near here, and there's one on Blackstone Isle. I'm not sure if I want to go to the next area already, or if we should prep a bit more for that. Maybe we should prep a bit more. Also, just, just to test it case. out, what does this do? Okay. It stays on for a while as well. And then it vanishes. Okay, and it causes a little bit of panic, so to see. So I almost went Dutch there. And let's see. I'm guessing it fills up as we go. Oh, right, I, I completely forgot that we had these here. Completely filled with crabs. Congratulations! You got crabs! Oh, wait. Okay. I just realized I made the take yeah. out of context. <laughs> uh, you said it, not I. <clears throat> okay. You know what? I, 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 I will blame chat. Okay, there's also that hooded figure that wants fish from us. And yeah, looks like, yeah, that, that's definitely a cooldown what is happening with that. So. Sell off all the fish for 278. Store these. 
Holy, you got a lot of butter again. Yeah. This rolling is really worth it, it seems. Okay. Yeah, but it... It, it is passing money, after all. True. And it does have, well, bigger storage than your own storage. Okay. And it does seem to keep fish fresher for a longer time. There's the wind again. Pick all. Pick up. Uh, take as many as we can. Hmm. If we get some explosives, we can get this open. Hmm. Explosives, you say? Yeah, we should be able to get them at Marrow here as well now. So, for now, let's hand in the fish. And then go out to see if the rock activates. So, sell everything for 150. Let's put these in storage for now. Same as that. Keeping our... <clears throat> we're keeping our little... Uh, I've forgotten what I called it before. It? Our, our little uh, good no, luck charm. Uh, yeah, good luck charm, yes. Did you say pet? This you said pet. Good luck pet? Uh, good luck charm. Yeah, I, I, I know I said pet, but it sounded it sound like you also said... Uh, Pet luck charm. Okay. Uh, should have gotten some explosives to break that open, but oh well. Dun, 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 dun. It also would have made for a good hiding spot. Why did I stop coming? Mars. Yeah, well, why? Two things out there. The Dolph Cthulhu does sound terrifying. Let me just go back and forth. Until this lights up. Oh. Don't get close. Oh, he is back. Uh, oh, do you see that? What? The big black cat out with many eyes. I'm pretty sure that's Blackstone Isle. I hope it is. Yeah, that's right behind us. That's Blackstone Isle. Lord, it looks like a group of monsters. Okay. Yep. I saw something else out in the water. Yeah, there's those things. Whatever they are, and there is he is again. Is it following the same path? I think so. I think he is something one should out. There's something else with it. There's yeah. something phasing through it. Is that a lure? I think that's an angler lure. Yeah, I was... Oh... It, it... There's, there's more. There's more than one. Um, turn red already, bastard stone. Yeah, big fish indeed, glacier boy. I, I was wondering if there was a fish mimicking both Bordeaux, but I guess these are. Uh, how the heck would you call that? Boat angler fish? Yep. There. Okay. So then chill, deep vision. 
The town of Greater Marrow burns. The lighthouse lies collapsed, its light extinguished. The red glow fills the sky behind the cyclone that drains the world. Is that a vision of the past or the future? The panic is getting real high now. Oh, and that is one thing that starts happening when your panic gets high. Rocks start appearing out of nowhere. Oh. oh. So we're going to wait a bit for that thing to pass by. And then we're going back to town. Oh. Oh, wait. Something's nearing. Oh, it was chasing us. It was definitely oh. chasing us there. Can we get a glimpse? Oh. No, it backed the hell off. Wait a minute. Wait a damn minute. Oop. Yeah, that's Black Rock. What is the it's other place? Yeah, uh, yeah, I agree with this. Run away, or, or, or sail away, sail away, uh, sail away. What? Okay. Yeah, we have nothing. We have a bit to sell, a few squids. Pepper spray. <laughs> okay, I, I think gonna... those eyes appearing is what happens when your panic is starting to get too high. Ugh. Yeah, that that has my hair standing on edge as well. <laughs> oh, no, no, I kind of hope we get to find more of these, these kind of horror games, but this is perfect for us. Okay, just what, what? jump into there. Wait, wait, let me need to read this. Staring outwards, unblinking, eyes burrowed from a larger being, but not the mind to process what it sees. Okay. So what is that way? Was that? Yeah. And you thought I saw Black Rock Isle? Wait a minute. There's that's that middle island there. Is that inhabited? Let's see, how much time? 12 minutes, about. I don't really want to risk going out in the middle of a storm. Let's see, these are coastal What was shadow. that? Hmm? There's lightning going on around the place. Oh, there was not lightning, I heard. Something is splashing the water. Let's see, we can catch a shark. Let's see. Let's go check up. Not that. That. Let's keep the light on even during the day. And you see lightning. And it hit full speed ahead. That's because there's a growling in the water. Okay, how have things been over here? Let's see. Hey, thanks again for helping me move out. I managed to see myself set up. Okay. You're just doing fine by yourself. Okay. Um. Let's have a little look around the waters around here then. Our exploration got a bit cut off last time. Let's see. That is a devil's spine that way. Hmm. 
I think once we have this next relic, that we actually go not back to uh, not back to Blackstone, but we see if the lighthouse keeper knows anything about them. Because for all we okay. know, the collector is up to no good in the neighborhood. Is this another crab? No. Okay. Hmm. Yep. Okay. So the whales aren't extinct in this area. Hmm. Better not tell the people of Ingfell, otherwise they are going to be extinct again. Now, let's see. Oh, these are worth money. There. Leave it at that. These are worth money. That's a weird sentence. Of course they are worth money. <laughs> They're worth a lot of money. Okay. Yeah, that one makes more sense. In this Don't case. Too much poo. Can we check here? Or did we already check that? I think we already checked that. So let's just... Dodge the rocks. And get across while it's still light. And the fish are still fresh. So they make yeah, so they give us the most. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Now, now I'm having after shivers. <laughs> You're not alone. Okay, 340. Yeah, they're about the same price-wise, apparently. Okay. Yeah, one thing we could technically do is fish at the same spot and just throw out the smaller fish, but I think it would be worth much to just bring back as many as we can. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what's with the cabin? Uh, oh, the, this one. 50 bucks for an all-seeing cod. 60 for a fanged one. Almost done with this book. Mm, let's see. Still need to do that. Rare fish, ore fish, gulp. Oh, yeah, gulper eel. The, the gulp. Oh, we we need to report the location. Okay, we don't need to bring them one. We just need to report it. Uh, Goliath tiger fish. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I, I might need. I might start a separate save and bring. Uh, all the relics to the lighthouse keeper instead. See if she has anything to say about that. For now, we pass another day. And... Yeah, I'm... Uh, storage. Let's put this one in storage for the moment. And then we go across and sell off all the other jewelry that we've gotten. Uh, hmm? Stumbles to fire fireworks. Okay. Rather uh, organized, it. maybe it's... Oh, uh, wait. It's a special day today. Yeah, I'm gonna check one. my calendar. And that's everything. Okay. We'll probably sort all of this stuff out. Alright, it's a both the king's birthday and a special Swedish holiday today. Okay. Do I never go to learn why we celebrate this one? Trader. Let's see. 50 for that. 165 for that. 27. 66, 50, 71, 44, and just 22 for a pair of broken glasses. Okay. Broken glasses? That feels like a... Wait. Oh, wait. Oh. 
press the wrong button. I press wait, the button wait, wait, to wait, send wait. them back here. Don't sell the glasses. Uh, why not? Think about it. Hmm? That is something that looks like that it could be uh, an NBC thing. Hmm. That someone might ask you to find uh, someone's old glasses from Memento. Maybe. You, you, you yes. see what I mean, right? We've got a, we've got a good amount of cash now. We <laughs> okay. Um. Holy. Let's see. We have about four minutes left, so I say we go dredging up some salvage. To get those uh, sweet, sweet upgrades. Plan for the future is reds. Okay, let's grab another one. And yeah, next time we can head to the next area then. Okay, what was that book about? Plan for the future. 50% chance to not reduce fish stocks when catching a fish with a rod. Okay. Scienti the, the scientific exploration on responsibility and accountability within the fishing industry. I don't think it will catch on. Okay. That is similar to... Uh, another one here. Sus yeah, sustainable fishing. I think it, it is catching on for... Many countries have very st strict uh, things about uh, when when you can fish some fish and all that. Yeah. Okay. Some metal. We're going to need quite a bit of material for the tier 3 upgrades. Oh, thank you. Always appreciate it to find one of those. Okay. One more. Oop. And yeah, it, it seems that most of those uh, black stones, the division stones, I'll call them, it looks like most of them activate around or sometime after midnight. So if we go for another one, uh, we should not, not spend most of the evening uh, hanging out near it because... Yeah, the fisherman doesn't like it being out that late. I would either. Let's see. Let's grab one of these. This time quickly passes in the night. But we should be relatively safe in here. Emphasis on relative. I'm guessing the dredge net broke. Yeah, it needs to be repaired. Okay. We've got plenty of money for that. Uh, fishmonger, nothing to sell you. And storage. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we actually don't have space for more. Or actually, we have. We just need to mess around a bit. Yes. Dry dock. Storage. There. One more engine space. And we need cloth. We don't have any cloth with us. There should be a space nearby for that. Yeah, let's we'll grab some of those uh, hand, hand the sky. Oh, hand the sky. I butchered that so badly. Okay. Spent a hundred to uh, repair the net. I might as well have it hanging out then. Yep. Time to find some wet towels. Some eels. Black grouper. Shark. Arrow squid. It's also something we should do whilst we're out salvaging is to go back here, get a bit more explosives, and open up the space over there. And again with the wind. Where is that pointing us? Uh, oh, hello, that's a big-ass light. 
Incandescent array. 3,000 luminescence with a range of 40. Okay. Uh, would be better if we had another space for that. We could get one of these. A tungsten floodlight. Um, actually, I'll let's wait. Stand. Tungsten, uh, okay. So shouldn't you have... Who has the explosives? The Hulk lamp, but... Hmm. Okay. I right. accidentally went Swedish there. <laughs> okay. I was about to say I forgotten about uh, that people use tungstens for light, and I almost said that in Swedish. Uh, do they sell the explosives here, or do we need to go back to one of the trade, uh, one of the merchants? Okay, that is a bit. That's a bit annoying. Uh, do any of you have anything new to say? No. Dark worker. No. I don't think these ones were the ones that uh, gave out the uh, bombs. No. It... Okay, that is a little bit annoying that we... Uh, <laughs> that the, they don't sell the explosives here once they become unlocked. Not that they would have a real need for them though. Uh, Mayor, do you have anything to, new to say? Uh, anything about... The, uh, what can you tell about Blackstone Isle? Hmm, I don't know a great deal. It technically falls under the jurisdiction of Little Marrow. I believe it was sold to a private owner some 20 years ago. They must have had a special arrangement. Such a sale is quite uncommon. Very complicated paperwork involved, you see. I've not met the owner. I suspect they don't live around here. The island seems quite uninhabited. Okay, so they've been there for 20 years. How have they been eating? Fishing? Actually, they, they could, yeah, they could have been fishing stuff up themselves. But we don't have... Actually, he, he can leave the island. Uh, because we saw him here. How the hell he got over here when we don't see a boat over there? That's another question. L is Rory obvious at this point. Yeah, some sort of eldritch magic. Yeah, he has a spell book. For now, we'll have to call it there. And next time we play this, in the next weekend, likely, uh, or earlier if we feel up to it, uh, we will be heading into unknown territory. And let me actually say... Okay. Hmm. I, I think I am going to start a second uh, save file to see if we can hand over any of those relics to the lighthouse keeper. I think she only appears after we dig up... After we get the, the handkerchief. But I'm definitely going to check if there is... Maybe there is some sort of alternate ending if we get her the relics instead of the collector himself. He probably won't be too happy with us if we do, though. <clears throat> uh, possibly. For now, though, uh, let's go look for someone to raid. So, switch. Mute the sites. Okay. Since I have the... Since, since I have my standard browser open in case for you know, clips and such, uh, might as well go with this one. Uh, change the screen share. Uh, Windows, Twitch, there we go. And let's see, who are online? Positively Pollux is, has gone online with Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition. Uh, LiveGrow is still playing Rust. Jimmy McGinger is still help having a software and game development stream. I'm a flanker is streaming Call of Duty Warzone. Yeah, did you want to say something? I said nothing. Okay, I, I thought I heard you make a sound at least. And uh, next up, we have Redacted Cats with Yu-Gi-Oh Omega again. Uh, they're still going five hours in. <laughs> okay. Oh, dear gods! Uh, Intro VT is streaming, is doing art stream. Big V streams is playing Baldur's Gate Two Enhanced Edition. Derpy Do has is playing Terraria. Have they changed their icon? Oh, <laughs> they're using the 3D model again. <laughs> Smoops Other Nonsense is streaming Darkest Dungeon. 
Touch Tale is streaming Deep Rock Galactic. Okay. Apparently they're getting a, a big upgrade again. So do they have some sort of googly eye mod on? Because <laughs> it looked like the Praetorian had googly eyes. Okay. And then we have Halloween4545 who is streaming Sunless Sea. I think that would make a fitting uh, <laughs> raid going from one Dread Sea to another. Yeah. Okay, so let's copy the name, head to our place, and start up that raid. After, of course, thanking everyone who has been weird. So, uh, yeah, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Thank you, Glacier Boy and Noon both, for being here and chilling along a bit. Uh, I will have to take some precautions to avoid a, a, a mutiny in the future, it seems. Uh, but beyond that, uh, yeah, thank you both. And as always, thank you, Drakir. Your will goes always well, Brett. What the? Holy shit, just flipped out. It's a relation rest. <laughs> okay. Uh, are the terrors from the deep attempting to grab you or something? Grab? No. Catapult me? Maybe. <laughs> uh, yeah, thank you, as always. And uh, yeah, with that, Let's start up the raid, and uh, tomorrow we'll have our day off. We should probably listen to the rest of that music catalog that I uh, got, though. Yeah, I'm. We're both already pretty set on which two to the tracks to use for our stand, our default uh, streams, on the yeah. BRB and outro. So the music that is to come is for the Prince of Persia streams more. <laughs> I just, well, I like I said earlier, I believe, or no, I said earlier today. Uh, I am a lazy uh, jackass at times. Often. Not always. <laughs> Usually. Uh, anyways, thank you everyone. Has, uh, thank you all again. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, everyone, and watch out for the deep horrors mm -hmm. in the abyss. And seagulls. <laughs>